Welcome to Intentional Online. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All right, today's topic is, is this the mark of the beast? You know, there's a lot of things going on in this world right now. So if you're watching this video in 2021, or if you're watching this video in 2035 or 2030, who knows when you might watch this video, um, just go do your research. What happened in 2020 and 2021? So you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but I just wanted to um, share a couple of scripture. Uh, if you don't mind, give me about five minutes of your time. And I'm going to share this um, scripture. I just wanted um, to share a couple of scripture. I'm going to come from Revelation. 13 verses 16 through 17 and i'm coming out of the new living translation so um if you don't mind let's read um he required everyone small and great rich and poor free and slave to be given a mark on the right hand or on the forehead verse 17 says and no one could buy or sell anything Without that mark, without that mark, which was either the name of the beast or the number representing his name. So I want to break it down a little bit. Let's go back to verse 16 and verse 16. The first part, it says he required everyone. And I know we're hearing that word in this time and people, a lot of people are making these uh a lot of making a lot of false video just to get views and to make money. And a lot of people are watching some of these conspiracy videos that's, that's not lining up with the scripture. They're, they're saying, this is the mark of the beast. And this is, but I'm going to show you where there's some similar, but it's not the mark of the beast. So what's happening right now and the things that's happening is not the mark of the beast, but you're going to see some things that are similar. So the first part it says in the scripture it said he required everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave. So what's going on right now? It doesn't matter if you're rich. It doesn't matter if you're poor. They want you to take the shot. It doesn't matter if you're small, or great. It doesn't matter. They want you to take the shot. Some places are requiring you to take the shot, to come, come to that place, maybe to travel to that country or maybe even to go to that restaurant or some business, some jobs are making you. Now, that's what you will see in the scripture. It was saying about the mark of the beast. It's saying required. Everybody was required. Now, to understand the mark of the beast is... um. The next part of that scripture says to be given a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. Now, this is what we get or what's going on right now. It's neither of that. It's, you're not getting it on your forehead. You're not getting it in your right hand. And let's read verse 17. It said, and no one could buy or sell anything without that mark. So you, you're seeing things like, okay. You can't go to this place. Maybe you can't go to this um, a sporting event. You can't even buy tickets to go to the sporting event without this shot. But according to the scripture, it's without this mark. Is and it's taught in the right hand and the forehead. And which let's keep reading verse seventeen. It said, "Which was either the name of the beast or the number representing his name." which the number is six, 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 three, six. You're not getting that in your arm when you take that shot. It's, it's, it's going to be plain out. You're going to know what it's going to look like. It's going to be six, six, six. It's literally, that is the mark of the beast. What's going on right now is not the mark of the beast, but you can see some similar when you see the scripture. When you see when it says, verse 16, say he required everyone. So even though right now they're not requiring everyone to take the shot, they're just recommending. But some places, some jobs, some restaurants, some airports or whatever, they require everyone to have this shot. So that's how you see some similar to the scripture. 
but it's not the mark of the beast because the mark of the beast is right hand, forehead, and you will see it six, 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 just as plain and view. So that's how you know that that's the mark of the beast. So when you're watching some of these other videos, these people making crazy conspiracy videos, not lining up with the scripture, it's not right. We have to look at the word and know what the word says. The word says. Now, I want to make sure I, I go back to verse 16 and say this part. It said he required everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave. Now, free is somebody that's free. A slave can be can be somebody that's in prison because uh, the meaning of a slave is a person who is legal, who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. So when you in jail, you're forced to obey the officers or the, the head above people, the head above the officers. So you are that and you are their legal pr property. So anything that happened to you while you in their custody you are their responsibility. So that can go for a slave. So, and this is what the scripture is saying. That it doesn't matter what you are, rich, poor, it doesn't matter how much money you got, you got to take that mark of the beast. Now, you don't have to take it, and you shouldn't take it. Now, I'm 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 encouraging you not to take it, the mark of the beast. Do not, because do not, do not. Do not. But that is the mark of the beast. What's going on right now is not the mark of the beast, but it are some similarity when you see words like required. When you see people saying that you can't go to this restaurant, you can't do certain things, you can't maybe visit this, this city or country because they require you to take this. So you're seeing the things that are similar, but it's not the mark of the beast. So I just wanted to explain that to someone that's out there. That is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast, you'll know the number, six, six, six. Right hand, forehead. Just wanted to share that um, real quick. Um, God bless you. Hope you enjoy it. Um, this Bible study. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Only a cheese.